Hey there! This is just a quick video about how to use Createx Candy 2O paints to create colorful designs on top of a black background. So first you start by mixing equal parts of candy and clear. Uh, Createx recommends using number 4030 balancing clear or number 4050 clear, but I've also mixed it with just Createx transparent base and a gloss top coat and it seems to work just fine. So I'll mix half and half of the candy in the clear and then uh, let it sit for a few minutes to kind of meld together, marinate. And then, you know, as you might be able to see, the paint is very thin and runny looking and um, it's much thinner than regular airbrush paints. So I'm going to start with black nails. I airbrush these black, but you can also um, just, you know, airbrush over black gel polish. Just remember to remove the tacky layer before you start airbrushing. And so we want to airbrush uh, some designs on the black nails in white. I'm using um, Createx brand opaque white airbrush paint. And the brighter that you airbrush the white, then the brighter the colors are gonna be on top of the white when we spray the colors on top of the white designs. So just keep that in mind. You just wanna get a good layer of white on there, pretty saturated to cover up the black really good. Okie dokie, so now I have all the nails um, designed with some white designs on top. So I'm going to start now by um, spraying on the candy mixture in different colors because I want to create a rainbow effect. And you just spray it over the whole nail because it's not going to show on the black parts. It's um, a transparent paint, a highly pigmented, so that's why the colors are pretty deep but it will only show up on the parts of the nail where I have sprayed the white designs. And the paint is also like really thin and runny. So you wanna take your time, like, you know, I'm not spending too much time on one nail, I'm really just kinda 
spraying a little bit on each nail, giving it time to set and dry, and then coming back over it and spraying it again. And I'm trying to kind of like blend the colors a little bit. I'd like fade it out towards the bottom when I spray to get ready to layer on the next color. So it kind of blends together like a pretty little rainbow. With the yellow being a lighter color, you do have to be patient with it and work a little bit harder to get it to show up. Um, but you do still just wanna take your time, spray it softly, and just keep layering it on until you get the color to build up and show the way you want it to. Uh, you can use a shiny or a matte top coat on it and as you see like once you top coat it then you can really see the colors kind of pop out against the black so yeah super simple super easy the colors are bright and so yeah i hope you found this helpful thanks for tuning in